Hey guys, Supreme Prayer, and welcome to the very first episode of a new Let's Play that I'm starting for Mountain Blade Warband. This is the 1776 mod that is, uh, you know, basically just takes us up to the American Revolution, and that's where we're going to be playing in this mod, of course. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, just if you forgive me, the music behind the scenes is obviously very loud and different. It's very sporadic compared to native, so if the sound is a little bit weird at first, give me a break. Uh, I would love to hear your feedback just to make sure that I get it correct for you guys, but uh, I'm going to have some trouble balancing it at first, you know, because it's kind of odd. Anyways, so we're going to start a completely new game here today, of course, and uh, I thought it might be cool if we try to be a female. Don't know how exactly that's going to work, but uh, I thought it would be cool. Now this is going to be a very long and awkward loading screen, so it looks like we have a minute to ourselves here. I thought I would discuss some other stuff here. Uh, for instance, you might have noticed that the video is only going to be 30 minutes or 15 minutes long. Um, that's just for the beginning, guys. We're going to ease ourselves into this series, and of course, perhaps by the end of the week, we will start doing 30 minute long videos. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, so welcome to the year 1776, the American Revolution, a mod by Gabriel Duro. Um, basically, it just says, yeah, we're in the United States of America and don't recruit all these uh, guys and uh, yes there's some things that will cause crashes guys so hopefully it's not gonna impact our let's play too much but if it does you know we'll be okay cuz I uh, save very constantly alright so we're gonna go ahead and say continue now do we, okay so he really doesn't want us to assemble all of our NPCs so yes oh just kidding no <laughs> alright so now we need to actually pick ourselves here alright so this is just some Alright, this is basically the exact same thing as the native, however, I'll just point out the differences, of course, we're starting in 1776, it's the 18th century, um, Native Americans and women, you know, it just says the same thing, they can still achieve the same goals as males, but it's going to be a little harder. Now, of course, we're going to choose a little bit more of a difficult start now that we've had some good experience playing Mountain Blade Warband in the first place. So let's go ahead. We're going to continue here. We are actually going to be a female in this game, guys, so it's going to be a little bit tougher for us. So female, and uh, we want to be a veteran soldier. Our father was a veteran soldier because we're going to try to be, like, we're going to use rifles because that's, like, the coolest thing and I want to try it. For our job that we spend as our early life, we're going to do a, um, I forget which one I picked. I think it was, um, we don't really don't want to be a gentleman. I'm pretty sure we're a woman, so I don't think that really works. But um, I think a craftsman apprentice is what I chose. And then we were a lady in waiting. This is going to be able to, I, w I would pick soldier, but of course, since we're not a, uh, we're a woman, so we can't be a soldier. But I say lady in waiting because that's going to give us more charisma. And the reason why we are out for, you know, the uh to be a like a yeah because oh for the reason why we're out adventuring is because we lost a loved one all right so now we're going to be an adventurer and come to ride our destiny that was all very much similar to the native so if you've ever seen that it's very similar all right so we're going to allow me to quit without saving uh, of course i would do realistic but uh since this is a let's play and i save quite frequently and things like i said there's a lot of crashes so i just want to make sure that i have every like thing going in my favor as opposed to like f just so that we avoid any weird mishaps so that's just the only reason why I wouldn't pick realistic alright so we're gonna pick our name here and we're gonna be Rhinel yes very close to Rhinel our character in Mountain Blade Warband but since we're a girl I figured I'd make it a little bit girlier anyways uh, we're gonna take two points into strength and two points into uh, agility as you see we already start out with a lot of charisma and leadership which is really important so uh, as a uh, woman, we're going to be focusing mainly on long rifle, long guns, and one-handed weapons. So we're going to go and get things that support that. Now I'm not exactly sure how horse archery will reduce the accuracy penny to penalty for long guns. So I'm going to try to, I'm not going to put any points into that just yet until I know more about how the other skills work. But we are going to put some more points into Iron Flesh, since we can. And we're going to put two points into Power Strike, because we're going to also be using one-handed weapons, like we said. And then Weapon Master, because I'm certain that Weapon Master will help us with our long gun ability. Then we're going to probably want to put a point into Trainer. Uh, tactics and all that other stuff, we're going to... Eh, I guess we could... We want to get prison Prisoners, so we'll put one point into Prisoner Management. Uh, like and maybe one more point in the leadership just to max us out so we can get a nice big party of troops to start with all right and then long guns we want to put all of our points into that because that's going to be what we mainly focus on all right done we can also do pistols and stuff um 
we're not able to hit the randomize button because uh, that will crash the game. I read that on the uh, on the forum. So if you're ever if your intent is to play this game, don't don't hit the randomize. So what we're gonna have to do is make this uh, person ourselves, and I'm gonna do my best to make her look like a normal person, not like a monster. Uh, she looks pretty good already, so I think I'm just gonna change like based on this. And I, I'm not gonna make you watch me mess with all these little slidey bars. That'll be really boring. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So it wasn't really that long. I just changed the hair color and the hairstyle. Um, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good for a woman of the uh, 1776 era. Uh, I think they did a, a, a really a, an okay job, you know, with the, this part of the game. Looks, looks pretty good for me. Alright, that's done then. Um, so obviously we can't pick this option. Uh, uh, we're going to start in a ship for Richmond, Virginia. And the reason why that is because that's where I live. Is uh, Well, not Richmond, but a little bit north of that in Washington, or around Washington, but still. It's kind of where I live. And we're going to start by off by making an army of continental soldiers, like American soldiers. Okay, this ha has got to go. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here is access our luggage. Because um, I definitely don't want this uh, this little dagger, we don't need that. And we definitely don't need a pistol. So let's just grab our well-made musket cartridges and our Jager rifle, right? Yeah, we want our Jager rifle. That seems to be the best rifle that we can get. And we're going to take off this dumb hood. And I think I already like what we're wearing, so I think we're going to... I mean, these things look just slightly different, as you see. Um, it's just like the little different outfits that they give you to start off with. We've already got a pretty good horse, so that's pretty awesome. So we're not going to try to mess with that. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. Alright. Oh, God. Um, okay, well, at least it looks like we can get back up here. So let's draw our musket. And we shall find the enemy who dares to attack us. Looks like he's already aiming a pistol at us. There we go. Gotta dodge this. Alright. Boom! Yeah, that's not a good idea for you <laughs> to run straight in me. Yeah, you are dumb. And this sword is pretty cool too. I like it. It works out pretty well. Um, ah, William Johnson. Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. So he took us to our house. That's kind of creepy, but... So what would you like to talk about, William? All right, so you got this is just the same quest as a native guys. He's got his brother, and we need to find out where the guys are. Oh, I love this the the soundtrack. I mean, it's kind of like a lot more a lyrical soundtrack rather than instrumental in the other games, but it's still interesting. I think they play some, like some Braveheart or some uh, music from the Patriot. It's actually pretty pretty badass. It makes you feel cool. So I think we're like upstairs, and I don't know. This is just like some. Hey, well, yeah, we're gonna tab to leave. All right, so they should have some bandits nearby, right? Oh no, we need to go collect men. Uh, as you start out the game, the map is actually upside down. As you see, Baltimore is above Richmond for some reason, so I'm just going to orient ourselves north to south. So north is now... I think the thing is wrong too, the compass is wrong as well. But that's fine, it's not. It's just a tiny little thing that I'm complaining about. All right, we definitely don't want to run into any looters. Ooh, so we got one guy to follow us, good. Alright, um, we're going to want to be careful here because I did see those eight looters. Those will be very scary, and I don't want to... Well, I think actually we can handle eight looters just by ourselves, but I don't want to lose any of my men. If we can help it. Oh, nobody wants to join our party here, so let's just go look for more blue cities to uh, recruit from. Is this a... Um, that is the United States, okay. I just wanted to make sure because there's actually a lot of faction guys, factions guys. If you didn't look at my, if you didn't see my video where we voted for this one, I'll show you guys the map. We'll start up here in Maine and Quebec and stuff in Canada. Um, there's actually quite a lot of, quite a few factions. Uh, these are the British, and then there's some Indian factions here, as well as a uh, more British, more Indian faction, more Indian faction, more Indian faction. There's like, oh my god, so many Indian factions and British and then Spanish. Oh, so much stuff is happening. All right, so we're going to recruit this one American volunteer. Of course, we're having a little bit of trouble getting volunteers because, of course, we are a woman. Not very many men are going to be wanting, willing to follow a woman into battle. So we'll just have to go in a... You know, once we get a few battles under our belt, you know, the, the fact that we're a woman will go down and, like, nobody will care as much. So as long as we... Uh, oh, three, actually. Wow, so that should have been all the five that we needed to get for our quest, right? Okay, good. So let's return... Right, we return to him, and then, uh, yeah, he's in the tavern at Richmond, so let's get back to the tavern at Richmond, and we shall see. Our current morale is 94, which is pretty good. We got a lot of stuff in our inventory, if you didn't see earlier. Uh, in fact, we have some some horse, a horse, and all this other crap that we can actually sell when we, uh, 
when we just we try to do so. Um, do we have food, by the way? Oh yes, we have one thing of smoked fish, so we should be good for a while. That that actually lasts a long time. The food when you only have five men. So let's just run back to Richmond. That's the only thing I've noticed that's kind of um, that the mod is like failing upon. I believe is this uh, when you hold down shift to do super speed, it it jumps. But hey, you know what? That's not really that big a deal, is it? Nah. But hey, all right. So we're at Richmond now. We're gonna join. The, ooh, a tournament. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna want to. We're ready to join a tournament just yet. Let's just focus on doing our quest right now. I'd like to get at least one combat in. All right. So I shall hunt for the bandits. <laughs> I love the little like yeah, the little yelp he did. It's pretty funny. So uh, let's find those bandits. They should be right there. Band of robbers. I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep the prisoners, and I'll let you go. Ha! Huh, those prisoners are only going to be free if we pay their ransom. Did you bring any shillings? No, but I bought powder and a shot. <laughs> okay, so let's charge the enemy. Alright. So, our men are going to be pretty much useless. They're not very strong, and uh, they don't have money. Like they, they have guns, but we're just going to have them hold position up here. The map that's under my face is actually one of the things that is broken about this mod. The map does not work. So, so even though my face is covering it, don't even worry because there's nothing that's happening on it anyway because it's broken. Boom! Alright, so we killed one. And I really like this long gun. It seems like it's the most effective uh, means of... Did that guy shoot himself? Oh no, we actually, one of our guys sniped him. So we'll just draw swords here. I think this is the leader, so if we get him, that'll be a good amount of experience. Oh, no. Now, where the last guy is, I have no clue. Oh, and he looks like he got gunned down on that hill. Yeehaw, yeah, alright. I love the love the new sounds that they added. Alright, so yeah, we lost nobody, and we killed one wounded one. Cool. Aye, spare me life, let me go, and I'll go far away from here and learn an honest trade. You'll never hear from me again. I'll spare your life, but tell me where the thing is. Alright, sweet. We learned where the hostages were shelved. This I actually did this quest the other day when I was trying to just get a feel for this mod myself. And he did not tell me where they were, so it was like, I don't even know what to do. Oh, so it looks like we've got a leather jerkin, which will be better than our con Continental Infantry offer, uh, Officer armor. So we'll put that there, but we're gonna save these, we're gonna save these armors, because they look pretty cool. Oh, and this long pattern, oh. Yeah, we're gonna sell everything else, but we're gonna keep these three outfits, because they do look pretty cool, we'll admit. But everything else we can sell. This horse, apparently, we don't we don't really need. This spirited corsair is actually really nice already. You can get a brown felt hat. Does that make our hair look stupid? Yeah, it does. But hey, you know what? It gives us some head armor. Maybe we could get the tricorn hat. I guess the tricorn hat. I like that one. Is it the same amount of armor? Yeah. We could get the brimfold. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. I really like the armor that they added in this, uh, in this mod. Well-made musket cartridges. We already have those, so no reason to keep them or, you know, use those. All right, good. All right, so that was our first battle, guys, and uh, we should know where the enemy's hideout is. Yes, it's all the way over here. Some of our soldiers are ready to upgrade. Looks like we got one minute man. Cool. Good job, guy. They, the units in this game are very well done. I think this is like, there's some parts of this mod that are very well done, some that are not, and uh, this is one part that is really well done. And just, you know, for the end of this episode, I think what we should do is just visit the town, just to look, look at the streets and see how well they did the town. I have not yet done this. So this looks very similar to a Nord town. Like, they just copied a Nord town and was like, ah, oh, that's what it looks like. Which is not such a bad idea, but hey. I don't really, I never really went around the Nord town, so is this, if this ladder is, um, if that's how the ladders look, that might be, I don't know. They've got weaponsmiths, everything, this is just like a normal town, I guess. I'm very interested to look at the other towns, though, see if they actually did any special, um, I see they got the flags up there and some different types of uh, signs, so I, I I don't know how well they did the other architectures, like if this is just, if it just looks like a Nord town here and maybe the other towns look more like forts, I have no idea. So we'll definitely be looking at that though, and I cannot wait to enjoy the rest of this mod with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this first episode here. We're going to leave the castle here. Perhaps if you guys really want to, we might join the tournament next time. I don't know, we'll see. And I really, really hope you guys are going to enjoy the rest of this series as I am already having much fun much much fun playing with this it's so cool like just having like guns and stuff i don't know why but whatever i hope you enjoyed this let's play like i said earlier and will join me next time spray and pray out